Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is 24 tutorial of this Linux tutorial series for beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about sudo command or sudo command. So the sudo command stands for super users 2. So it basically prompts you for a password and confirms your request to execute a command by checking the file called sudos which is which exists in slash etc slash sudos sudos like s u d o e r s uh, which the system administrator configures or any admin or root per uh, the person with root privilege can configure it so you might have seen me using this command many times previously but let me explain how it works so let's see an example here we are currently in Suppose when you log in, you will be in your home directory. That is for me, it's slash home slash student. Let's go to a direct directory called CD var. If you try to create something here, suppose you want to create a file, touch new file or new. It says touch cannot uh, create a new file, permission denied. Okay, let's try sudo. I'll type touch new okay it's asking me for the password it says student is not in sudoers file the incident will be reported now why we got this error even though with sudo we can run many commands but it has to be it has to be predefined in one of the file called the configuration file that's called slash etc slash sudoers so login as an admin and it says you have new mail in var mail root okay so what it says like we have tried to log in as or we have tried to use sudo and run a command which is not allowed to be used as sudo so we got a notification for that we'll see that it says slash var slash mail slash root you will see that to root from so and so auto generated it's a security information blah 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 okay so how to allow a particular user or a group or how to configure different things that can be done using, using sudo command we'll go let's increase the font so that it's visible to most of you okay let's go to uh, cd slash etc and we'll see that we i am cd O E R S. Okay, so this is how the configuration file looks like. It starts here, and it also says that sudo allows particular user to run various commands as a root user without reading the root password. In other words, you can also say that sudo are mainly used to give access to a specific s bin commands to a normal user. These privileges are specified in this particular configuration file. So there are particular three steps in providing a sudo access. Determine what are the users or what are the groups. Determine what commands you want to give access to. And then determine the permissions. So very quickly I'll show you how we can configure some user or a group. So if you can, and on all the comments are self-explanatory. So you just need to find the particular right place and add your users. Like if I want to add a particular admin user here or users which can run root commands admin commands you can add the users names here like student might be added here if you want to add uh, an entire group or like anyone who belongs to student group should be able to run all these commands which a root has the access to so we'll find a place for the group there is a place where it says root all equal to all that says allow root to run any commands anywhere similarly there is a comment called allow people in group wheel to run all the commands so we can add i've added just to show you the demo that uh, percentage student that's a group name of my user should be allowed to use any command from anywhere so we'll just uncomment it Okay, and then save the file by doing colon wq and I'm just doing the force quit by putting an exclamation mark and then hit enter. Done. 
now go back to our but previous key screen where we're trying to create a new file using sudo touch new it will prompt me for my password i'll enter the password here and we'll see what happened ls minus l and we created a file called new ah this new got created because we gave the access to the all the users who belong to student group to have all the access or run all the commands from anywhere so this is a quick introduction of sudo and i hope you now know how to configure or safeguard your environment from particular user or give access to particular user to run few commands and uh, restrict few users not to use any command likewise so feel free to play around with this command in any time if you have time or you want to learn more type man and then sudo and it will give you all the available options of this command what all you can do with this all right hope you learned something new in this tutorial i'll be back with new tutorial very soon guys do subscribe to my channel guys so that you don't miss any new tutorial which i will be publishing very soon thanks for watching guys